everybody, Ronnie here with another video, and we are going to react to a video from the Whatever Podcast clips. Should women pay on the first date? So we're gonna see the uh, see the video, put our own life coaching on it, and then see what we can get out of it. So without further ado, here's the clip. Twenty. Twenty. Are they typically maybe a bit older guys? Yeah. Late twenties, early thirties. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. men. Men will spoil women. Women don't spoil men. Generally speaking. <coughs> okay. What? What's this? You disagree? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, maybe general. Who should pay on the first date, men or women? Oh, jeez. Who should pay on the first date? Whoever asks. Okay. Split. Who should pay on the first date, the man or the woman? Everyone has their own opinions. On Typically, it's always going to be the men that pay on the first date. Everybody knows that. Typically, men want to pay on the first date because if the relationship ends up pursuing even closer, then you want to reminisce and go back to your first date and be like, well, at least we had a good first date. I took her out on this, on this nice place. We got to know each other. I paid. I mean, that's, um, it doesn't have to be an expensive place, like a lobster wine and dine kind of area. But even a coffee date can count as a first date because you both can like coffee and you both can enjoy each other's company and each other's time. And coffee is not that expensive either. Of course, if you're going on many first dates, that does get pretty pricey, especially if the guy's the one paying for all those first dates. So or work a budget if you're going to be going on for many, many first dates and you typically are going to pay. Whatever your opinion is fine, I'm just asking you. Me personally, yes. going out on a, if some if somebody, say I was asked him out on the first date, then I would pay because I'm asking him to come sure. to dinner with me. But vice versa, same thing goes for him. So like if he asks me to go out, then I would expect him to pay because he's inviting me somewhere. Okay, you, you said whoever pays. Whoever right? asks, Whoever, yeah. sorry, asked. excuse me, whoever asks should pay. What about you? Same? Same, yeah. Okay. I'm very pro on splitting it, but I've also, like, I've been the one to ask out the guy, and I've been the one to pay, and I, like, okay, have sure. no problem. But, but I'm, I think splitting is good. Sure. Who should be the one who asks? It doesn't matter. Hold I on. I want you to go first. I mean... Who should be the one who no asks? Typically, whoever... If you're going to go off with the logic of whoever asks should pay, then it's always going to be men paying, because typically men are the ones who make the approach and asking the women. Nowadays, if a woman does ask, then they're gonna pay. I, I'm not sure if the relationship's gonna go any further, maybe even to a second date, only because men are wired to pay as gentlemen. If a gentleman doesn't pay, then he's not being a gentleman, and that can affect us. And women, they like to be taken care of, they like to be taken out on the date not the other way around. Now, I could be wrong. If a woman asks a guy out and the woman pays for the date and, the, and they're still going on the relationship, then hey, kudos to them. Typically, it's always gonna be the men asking the women out and the men paying for the first date. 50-50, that's a little controversial because honestly, 50-50 doesn't work out because if you're gonna do 50-50, then it's not romance or butterflies in your stomach kind of relationship. It just ends up being a business it just ends up being a contribution that's something you do with your friends and your co-workers you don't really do that with somebody that you want to impress somebody that you want to give 50 50 doesn't really work out because it should be between two people giving each other you should be giving the dates giving them dinner giving them lunch giving them coffee it could be the it doesn't 100 percent always be the guy giving to the girl it can also be the girl giving to the guy a one date i went on with my girl we went mini golfing and i paid for the mini golf i asked her where do you want to get dinner and she said chinese and i told her okay do you have a certain preference do you want do you want a like a chain restaurant or a joint or a Chinese joint that I know. So we go to the Chinese joint as we order everything and move to the register to pay. She immediately opens up her wallet and just shoves $40 up front to pay for our dinner. And I was like, and I was telling her, no, babe, it's okay. I got this. And she's like, no, I want to pay. So when she said that I want to pay, 
that opens up more appreciation and joy because it shows how much she cares about us and that she wants to she wants to pay for something too for us it's not always so when the relationships together it's not always going to it feels better when somebody wants to pay for the relationship than both than both suing 50 50 on it because when it's 50 50 it becomes a chore rather than a gift so it comes more from the heart when you're giving 100 percent to each other rather than splitting it up 50 50. all right enough of, enough of that let's go i don't feel like there's any rule there's no like should okay you know how if you had to give us a range how many first personally, how many first I, dates have you be been very on very rare for me to like ah, go okay. out of my way and ask somebody out like i want to be pursued that's just a personal preference. So you want the guy to ask you? Yeah. Okay. But I also have been in a, like my long relationship, we split everything down the middle all the time. I just bought, in the relationship that I was in, like previously, I, for his birthday, bought us a one week vacation to Oahu. That's, that's and wonderful. Like, that's great. You know, like I, I spoil my boyfriends too, like I, don't just expect to be spoiled. Like, I feel like there needs to be a give and take. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you said that how, how, if you had to, like, give it a range, how many first dates have you been on? Hundred? Nothing. I, no, I know that there's nothing wrong with how many dates that I've been on. Uh, just first dates. I don't. Do you think it's uh, over a hundred? So you're 30. I don't know if I would call every time i hang out with somebody new like a date like you know what I, like i don't really let's say the first in, instead of dates let's call it the first time hanging out with someone new now that would be called dating if you're going on many first dates then you're dating and you're still single you're still seeing people until you're committing to one relationship then you're not single anymore whether he spoils you or she spoils him it makes no difference between the two. Oh, truth be told that guys would like to feel spoiled too once in a while. The same way how some women would like to be spoiled and be given flowers or, or their favorite coffee or something like that. Guys like to be spoiled too. I'll bring him his favorite beer or his favorite soda or something that he drinks. He goes to work out in the gym. You bring him a gate, you bring energy drink, whatever it is, anything like that. And like to feel spoiled too once in a while. And it doesn't take a lot of effort but it will give us a bigger appreciation and tells us that that you really appreciate not our relationship and you appreciate him as a person, the man. How many times has that occurred? I mean, probably, I mean, I've been dating since I was like 15. Sure, yeah. It was 15 years ago, so. 200? Um, maybe like 100, 100, anywhere from 100. Okay, so of those 100, let's mm -hmm. say, um, how many of those did you initiate? I don't think I've ever initiated a first date oh, or like the ah, first time okay. hanging out with somebody. So just to bring it back to the who should pay thing, you said that whoever asks should pay. However, of the hundred first dates or whatever you want to call them that you've been on, uh -huh. you've not initiated any of those. Ergo, the guy should pay. The man should pay. There go in my situation, the man should pay. Yes. Right, because you say whoever asks should pay, yet you've never asked a guy out on a date. Because I don't have to ask guys out. Precisely. On dates. Women don't have to ask. But men they out. could. She's also speaking they could. as an individual. Because I've had the completely opposite experience. Okay, but I would say you're an outlier. I would say most women are more like her than they are like you. Okay, but why can't there be. Why can't most women be like me? Like. I, I agree. Why don't women initiate more? Because they don't have to. They have the privilege and the and the. Best. They also are not wired to to the 50s or the 60s, like um, in the olden days before we used technology to meet people. You would go on to like the malt shop or coffee shop or cafe restaurants. You would go to the diner and after school, and then what people do is just hang out 
like the girls will hang out, look really, uh, look really pretty, with their ponytails on, and the guys will come in, and all the uh, girls do is look at the guy, make eye contact, and then the guy just has to use his suave play, uh, his plays, his one-liners, and just make his move to her, and then you just cross your fingers that she says yes, the guy doesn't get rejected, because guys fear rejection, and that he gets her, and then, and then he takes her out takes her on a date and then he pays for the date and then they go on from there benefit of not having to i think that's just i think that's just again like personal preference i think that's straight up it's not it's not personal preference i think it's up to the woman right sure and and that's the thing like sure maybe they don't have to but like just pursue other women that would want to be willing to like give you more like if that's your problem men men don't have the privilege of waiting around letting women come to them if men did do that, they would die virgins. I would. I reach out to men all the time. I'll shoot that my shot. You're an outlier. I'm an outlier. You're so an outlier. Yeah, but I'm still in the conversation, so I still count. You know, like I even if I am I'm a not, minority. I'm not excluding. I you know. From the conversation, I am an outlier, but, but my experience is still representative of a lot of other women who are just like me. Let me ask you like a question. She sure. is right here, and that's fifty percent of this whole squad right here. Okay, but that doesn't yeah. represent fifty percent of all women. It doesn't. That's not what I said. Yeah. I'm saying we're presenting but 50% of the women right but here. But just because you... But she did say that even though she's an outlier, that her experience matters and it represents with the other women that that she knows. Their experience does matter as an outlier. Unfortunately, two outliers out of four women on the table doesn't only uh, can count as 50% of the table this very table if you're going to talk about in general the of general women then those two women being outliers along with whatever friends they have probably like 10 more friends who are outliers that would be 12 women out of at least thousands is less than of one percent of women and and those outlaw and those outliers you guys <laughs> But just because you guys move a certain way doesn't mean that that's going to be representative. I think of you're all women. like trying to create this like fake issue, right? That, like there when men are don't have the privilege of women reaching out to them, which it is a just seems like maybe women haven't reached out to maybe you. I've reached out to plenty of men. I will slide in a guy's DMs. I do not give a. F- I swear to God, a lot like Odell Beckham Jr. I'm sure women throw him. But never became an issue because it was truth, and because it was accepted truth that men be a gentleman, go up, go talk to that lady, go approach her, ask her out, move forward. All of a sudden, years later, uh, people decide why do men have suddenly people are questioning why do men have to approach women? Why can't women approach men? And all of a sudden, it's like whoa! I just that just dawned on everybody. And now, ever since then. And people are having second thoughts about who approaching who and if girls should approach guys now all of a sudden it's not the same anymore it's not the same as how it used to be it was just truth that was that was accepted truth that men approach women and women just look approachable and that's it there was no issue as some people will now make it to be and now they'll make it personal by shooting it at at the host thinking that no one no women approached him when in general a lo- that's how a lot of men are a lot of men they live their whole life with women not approaching men really out of 10 approaches a guy will do to a girl many guys on average will get one approach by a woman on average it's just accepted truth themselves out of all the time and if it's a, a guy he, at a coffee you shop DM'd- Odell? No, I, I don't He really. DM'd you? No, I'm saying I'm just cu- I'm saying as why. an example, like women do shoot their shot all the time. If I yeah, see a Yeah, they'll cute, shoot their shot like, with a guy we who's had, a like, NFL player. No, dude, we were at like, in and out Bro, we you, <laughs> you give Odell How about bro. the How about the normal guy that works at Starbucks? That's ah, the guy yeah. I go for. We right. were at in and out and okay. we were at the drive-thru and the drive-thru Stop guy was, he was super cute. cute. And I was like, "What's up, cutie pie?" And he was like, "Oh my 
<laughs> and I think it's funny though too because like guys do not get hit on nearly as much as yes. men. Yeah, like we can and agree when that you hit on a guy. Personally, me, I love making the first move because if you hit on a guy first, because they're like, whoa, no he has way, no idea. it's so fun. But the question isn't like, have you hit on a guy? Have you asked a guy? Yeah, out yeah, I like, I like asking. Like, I've yo, asked clown world in the chat. Clown world in the chat. Spam that shit, boys. Can I tell you a story? Chat, Brian, tell shit, you a story? I told you yeah. I have multiple. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not in response to you. Okay. <laughs> I want to. Like, I want to like tell no, you a story. You can just hold pretend a woman don't do that, but I think it's maybe these guys. You know, like I. Women, Look. three out of four women here continually hit up guys. Sorry. Okay, but so Kazumi, you are, you are an outlier in numerous ways. You make three are million we, dollars is she a year. An she is a pretty. Although, if you're going to hit on guys, tip, uh, like in the drive-through as that example, tip, uh, typically that's just flirt being flirtatious. It's not asking the guy out women flirt with guys all the time and then sometimes they'll end up getting away with it and the guy will maybe give them a little discount throw in a free drink or something like that try it the other way around some guys may not get so lucky she's a pretty woman in college who hits on guys and goes but on dates she's an outlier too okay but how so are all how are three of us outliers in because and we're just looking not? at us right here though like majority of women do not make the first move on guys because majority of women feel like a a man should come up to them first, like a man should spoil them first. Like we just have like a different. Like, I think you well, know. I mean, well, I think, I think that in society's views, yeah, sure, most women don't do that. But I guess the reason that we're saying that, hey, yes, we are women and we enjoy making the first move. We enjoy initiating. We enjoy doing the things that the man is traditionally supposed to do. Women. We're just saying that to give the people watching the perspective that like life is not just a box that you choose to put yourself in like there are so many different things going on the and exception does not make the rule the exception does not make the rule it is the exception when a woman initiates i'm not saying it doesn't happen but is the it is the exception i'm speaking in generalities here now kazumi you said that well maybe you know it just doesn't happen to you brian well first off you are happen to me i would tell you this though my looks equivalent my say status equivalent if a girl had my following and was my looks equivalent i'd give myself well we could do the rating later but she's getting like 20 dms a day from dudes i almost never get dms and here's the thing average women Average women will get DMs. Average men will never in their life get a single DM from a girl. If a girl does, in the rare instance that it happens, does approach a guy, she's gonna go for like the guy she really, really likes. Whereas guys are gonna shoot their shot at like girls that are their equivalent or even girls that are like looks wise below them. I think also women are socialized to not do the first move because they don't wanna seem slutty. They don't want to seem easy. They don't want the guy to be like, oh, is she thirsty? Is she, is she like, desperate? Like, why is she doing that? You know, I, I've, I'm a girl, and I get rejected sometimes. You know, like, I feel like the reason, there, there's many reasons why men don't get hit on as much as women, but it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I think it comes okay, off as confident here. rather than... We'll come, we'll, I want to continue with this conversation. Can you do this, TTS? When Brian is talking, like saying in general, the average, he is talking about what is likely and really realistic. He isn't talking in absolutes at all. You are still valid but aren't representative of all women. All women aren't in your position. Okay, Dank Brian, naked. Thank you for the $50 super chat. Then how would you want you me to approach it. the conversation since I can only talk about my perspective? But, okay, look. We, we can talk about... Let me ask you a question. How many fingers do humans have? Ten. Oh my Generally. gosh, this question again. Listen. Yeah. Brian. But, but okay. But humans have ten fingers, correct? Humans generally have ten fingers, Brian. Do some, but we are talking on, about the human on. experience. Yeah, yeah, right? hold on. Well, experience does play a big role in your, in, in your life. But if you put together all the experiences you've had in relationships, you'll have your own outlier done for example if you asked out you take them on coffee dates but you only took them in coffee dates and they want to have a second date at a restaurant but you only took but you only prefer other paid for coffee and not restaurants then the outlier would be that 
not everybody wants to stay on coffee dates. Some people want to explore and have other dates somewhere else, like a movie or a dinner. Men are always going to be the one to approach women. It's always been that way. It's a gentleman thing to do. And men typically are the ones who build up the confidence, um, stop fearing rejection, and ask them out, and then see where it goes from there. And if it goes very well, they're going to be staying